Hi everyone, welcome back. I am continuing my iCard challenge, index card a day. I am way behind, but today I'm doing numbers 24 to 27. So I'm starting off by layering my cards with some white acrylic paint, drying it up all nice and dry, and I'm using blue and bronze. These paints are by Marie's, M-A-R-I-E apostrophe S. They're quite thick and juicy and yummy and lovely. My only problem with them is it um, the covers kind of break after a while. I don't know, maybe I'm not using it enough. <laughs> but yeah, but I still love it. I put tape around the, the, you know, where you screw it on. Yeah, to try and help keep it attached <laughs> so now i'm going to try to make some paints honestly i have no real idea of what i'm going to do i was thinking maybe something abstract or some collage so i'm starting off to help me focus my brain and just to get things started in my brain i usually just add paint wherever and however so today i decided to start using a spatula and I'm just putting paint all over the cards and still I'm trying my best to keep some white space because that is actually one of the harder things for me to do. So I'm working at applying the paints, the different colors and, and I'm adding some scratches in between. I love how scratches look. The, where I have the paint, it's just um, I use a piece of cardboard and I taped the liner from your cereal box when you finish eat your cereal i took the bag from that i wiped it out and i cut them up and that's what i have taped to my cardboard it's actually really cool i was thinking why didn't i think of that before i could have because it's so light and it's easy to move around it's really cool i'm sure other people have done things like that or they have you know probably tools like that but yeah i was just thinking wow gina why didn't you do that before but anyway so now i'm applying the bronze i applied some black to it as well all of them it's acrylic paints so i'm just rearranging my space trying to organize and also trying to figure out what i'm going to do next so these lovely juicy pieces of paper I actually dyed with coffee and then I made a nice rich mixture so it's like a syrupy uh, coffee I got the idea from 49 dragonflies and I mixed it and I put it in a fine liner bottle and then I did some asymic writing just some scribbles on the, the paper that was already coffee dyed and I am in love it, I left it to dry naturally. I didn't um, use the hand dryer to dry it. And it's fantastic. I really, really, I, and it's so addictive. I just wanted to do more and more and more. <laughs> so I'm using these because, you know, I, I thought we have the bronze in and brown and blue goes together. It looks nice. So I'm just trying to add them to my page in different places to see how they fit then I found this this is I think it's a triangle uh, band-aid and I dyed it with coffee and now I am uh, adding it as well to the cards these cards have some really nice texture on them and I'm loving I actually really enjoyed doing this. It um, it was very relaxing, and uh, I even enjoyed editing <laughs> because it was so relaxing. I enjoyed looking at it. Isn't that weird? I'm not trying to big up myself. It's just I enjoyed the process so much. You know, that's what it is. I really enjoyed the process of it. So I encourage you. You know, sometimes you don't know what to do, or you want to. You took a break, and you got you. You know, it's kind of hard getting back in. Try some colors, just, 
using up your scraps and add some paint stick some stuff down and just see it's even the back side of it looks good when i turned it over i was like oh, maybe i should use that side but no i want to see my my scribbles my intense scribbles i just it's so yummy mm. Mm. <laughs> really really i really enjoyed the process i really encourage you to to try it put on some music or a book or you know a, you can sit in front of your television and just just stick stuff down add some paint staple stuff together <laughs> rip papers <laughs> cut it's fantastic so while i'm doing this too i'm trying to decide if to add the same pieces well obviously it wouldn't be the same but the same types of pieces to all the cards or if i should try and change it up just a little bit but honestly i'm just going with the flow going with my vibe how things feel how things look and uh, yeah this piece that i have here that i seem to be separating it's actually cutex on it nail polish and i didn't want to get rid of that piece just because of the nail polish on it so i just like gently pulled it apart to separate it and i liked how the color looked on it you know i really liked it and it, it tied in with the colors on the card so i thought i would leave the nail polish on it I know you're wondering how did it get nail polish on it i think i was doing a video and my nail got messed up and i used it to wipe it off sounds a little crazy i know that's the nail polish <laughs> yep that's it and i decided to continue just add it you know just add it into the to the card why not because it's already on the the fabric so and it adds a nice shine, a nice color. It's similar-ish to the bronze. I really, really liked it. I do. I'm also trying to change direction and not have all the cards going in the same direction, which is a great mindful effort on my part because I tend to do everything in one direction. I have come to notice. What about you? Have you noticed that you do, you know, things in one direction? So that piece of brown paper that I brought in, I added some bronze paint to it because it looks super plain. And I like, I like that. I like the shine. And I love the sound and feel and smell of brown paper as well. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I really like it. And here comes some more nail polish just to add some more color to this one it looks so cool and i do enjoy the smell of nail polish too i'm not a sniffer but i i don't mind the smell of it <laughs> so my card smells nice This is another piece of coffee stain paper. This one I actually purposefully put those rings on. I think I used a cover of some sort to do it. I used book pages. So after I stuck this down, I thought I wanted all the chunky bits to be more in one area. So that's why I turned it around. I'm wondering if to bring in that cloth. And these yummy bits of pieces are strips that I had extra from when I dyed the paper with the, the coffee and I ran it through my sewing machine. My sewing machine was giving some trouble as you saw but I like it and it adds character to the paper. So I thought what a perfect opportunity to add these bits and pieces. This idea was also came from well, I saw it from 49 dragonflies. 
purse is much neater but i i don't mind the rumpel look the messy look i actually really like it i was going to do the leap turn it over on the book page side but i found it was looking too busy so that's why i stuck it with the plain side up and now i'm trying to decide if i should use peace in all of the cards how it would look so i'm just gonna fiddle around and see what fits what doesn't see i decided not to use it there And I'm just ripping off the edges because I found that it was too fat and too straight. I didn't like the straight look and it was just too wide. So I just narrowed it down and I'm using it. I really, really love these cards. Not, it, it isn't super often that I, I do my pieces and really enjoy it. At least that's what I think. But these, I enjoyed the process so much and I love the look of them. These scribbles, I'm still going to do them again. And I did some on, on different colored people. So I sprayed some people with food coloring. So I have some on pink and I think maybe on some yellow. And it looks so yummy. And the more I practiced, the more I did it, I was able to, you know, the more you write, the better you get you improve your handwriting improves so that's what happened when i was doing my scribbles <laughs> i was like oh this is so much you know you adjust your the pressure of how you squeeze the bottle and all those things yeah i was like yes i'm i'm getting better at this imagine that so i'm still trying to decide if to add this looking at it letting it rest i really want to put it and then nope and i found when i was looking for these strips i found my lace yay and i thought how cool it would be if i added lace so i just put those there i liked how it looked i'm trying it on another card but it just doesn't feel right so i'm just gonna toss it to the side and you just leave it on this card at this i think this is my first time using lace i actually went to the cloth store to buy it i love it it's so sexy so these are some um jelly plate prints that i made and i thought how cool it would be to use them because i don't i just made them addictively and uh, I just had them and I wasn't sure how to incorporate them in any of my pieces. So now I decided purposefully, I went through them and I pulled them out and now I'm going through them. I pulled out the colors that I thought might work with the color of my cards and I'm trying to decide what I can use. So I'm going to go through a process of just trying to match up colors, seeing how it looks. I love that bottle. It's so amazing, but it doesn't feel right with the card. So I found these pretty hats. What I did, how these happened were, I don't even think I, I filmed this process. I think I was just stressed out and I went to my jelly plate and I decided to try some, some prints. These were some foam stamps. You know, when you go to the your variety store and you have those children's package of foam stamps that was this is what that is and i just stamped on a plate and that's how they came out i love it i really love it so i thought why not we could use hearts red and blue red and brown red and black kind of goes right so i really like how that looked yeah I didn't even think of putting it in the other direction. So now I'm coming in with my next card, trying to decide what I could use as a focal point here. The flower actually didn't look too bad. I just probably needed to highlight it, but at the time it didn't feel right. 
so I'm going through and I chose this one this was a really nice process of choosing prints and choosing material to use on this, this these cards it was really I really enjoyed it so I'm using this man I love these walking men and these you know these silhouettes I just find it so cool so I think I like how that look and I'm gonna stick him down there we go he looks so good I love the grunge look of it love it love it love it I don't even remember how I did it I need to experiment again and then I didn't like how it curved under there even though that's how I cut it so I'm just gonna add back a piece it's like wow Gina you cut it off and then you're putting it back <laughs> so I'm gonna rest that aside and you know let my eye rest off of that for a bit and for this one I'm gonna use these butterflies again it's another foam stamp I did on the print these I stamped after I made my background print I took the foam stamp and I put it on a jelly plate and then I stamped it on your paper and I really like how it looks so I just I did it all over and I did them in different colors on different papers it's pretty cool so I thought that looks cute there and I'm gonna stick him down yes so I'm gonna rest that off to the side well, I'm trying to decide if to do like a a ghost uh, butterfly but then I decided not here now I'm thinking what can I use and I'm gonna cut another bottle again I love how with this bottle you see how the edges look fluffy I don't know how else to describe it but the edges of the bottle they look a bit fluffy it's not sharp I love how that looks it's so cool it looks fuzzy you know I'm trying I really really love this bottle and I love the orange but then I ended up peeling it off and it's gone because I wanted to see more of the blue I found a lot of the blue was getting covered up but and then I found yeah this was me thinking I wanted to see more blue but then it looked really weird I found so I didn't like it anymore so I'm trying to decide should I put it back should I take it off put it back <laughs> oh yeah so I decided to put it back because <laughs> it just looked too odd for me anyway it looked a bit odd but I really wanted more blue showing but I found it looked better with that extra piece on the side see I wanted more blue so I put it <laughs> I put it back now we're going to bring back in the card I found a butterfly wasn't um, showing up enough so I'm just going to add some white around it here I was actually trying to keep the shape of the butterfly which is really strange I don't know what I was thinking at the time but halfway through my daughter came to talk to me and we were chatting and then it dawned on me Gina what are you doing try and, and fluffy it out and blend it into the rest of the card see that's when that happened it's like what am I doing <laughs> why am I trying to make it the same shape it looks a little weird so now I'm just trying to blend it out and I could see it a lot better and I'm happy with these hearts I like how this looks as is but then I came in with this brown and in my opinion I spoiled it I don't like this outline at all but it is what it is it happened but I prefer it without the outline maybe I'll go back in and shade in the space between the line and the heart I don't know but yeah I wish I didn't do that and then I have my bottle here and my man so now it's time for our words 
and this one says willing to be i thought this was really cool and appropriate because he's just on his merry way doing his thing having his feelings and for me it made me think of being comfortable in our own skin with who we are where we are at this point and stage in our lives and we're just willing to be present we're willing to be there we're willing to be who and what we need to be at this point no matter all the stuff that's happening around us we're willing to be so that's what that meant to me this one says freedom is and it felt appropriate because it's a butterfly this is another print that i was experimenting with uh, on the jelly plate and i'm gonna use this as the background for my words and i really actually love how it looks freedom is a butterfly is free to just roam around and be himself and you know he's just free and you know i thought you could fill that in you could fill in and add whatever you want to that freedom is whatever you think freedom is to you because everybody is going through different things in their lives they have different experiences different situations so what is freedom to you it might be having some time to yourself on an evening because you know you have to take care of your family and you have so much chores and responsibilities what is freedom to you simple things you know then with this one i just thought it's a bottle and i was testing out the stamp on this crap and i loved how it looked so i decided to use it it was just a test stamp and i thought this was perfect i used original because it's a bottle and i honestly i'm going to be honest with you all i was thinking alcohol <laughs> i don't drink i don't like alcohol i like shandy that's my alcohol but i think shandy has one or two percent alcohol in it yeah so you know i was just thinking of the bottle and i thought you know it's like an original brand and it's one of a kind that's what i was thinking to be honest so i thought yes the stamp is perfect um my only problem at the time was I found it was too wide, it was taking up too much space. So I'm gonna trim it down and then, so then it's not an only problem because only means one. So that's two problems. It was too big and the bottle wasn't standing out enough for me. Again, I love how this, the background, the frame looks against the wood, love it. Yeah, the bottle wasn't standing out, but I liked the placement of the wood, I'm going to put it there and I'm still trying to decide if to leave the bottle as is. Right now I'm just focusing on my, my, the label, but then I thought, no, I need to help this bottle stand out some more. So I'm trying to mix a darker blue. but it's not really seen and it doesn't look good at all. So I'm going to use the black. It's, it's not complete black anymore, but that's okay. And just to create a little shadow, my intention is to create a, a small shadow around the left side of the bottle to help it stand out so you could actually see it more. But then things kind of got out of hand and the shadow got really wide. <laughs> And you know when you make a mistake you have to keep making adjustments so that happened but i actually still like how it looks how it came out and then i'm thinking it looks kind of weird when it stopped just right there so i'm going around the wood with it uh, you see um, and also i'm trying to keep the fuzzy of the bottle the outline i'm trying to keep it still fuzzy so i'm not going up against it but then I don't like how this looks either. It just looks really weird. So now I'm going to try to wipe it off. And it has already started to dry, so it's still there. So I just rinsed my brush and I kept water on it and I'm and I was much more pleased with that. 
So now I'm thinking, how am I going to fix this? Because it still looks weird stopping just like that. I know I should have done this before I put the wood down, but I didn't know I was going to do it. That's okay. So I'm trying to fix this and neaten it up. And it still looks weird. So I need to continue it somehow. So I'm going to create where I think the bottle may have finished. It looks a bit low, but I'm just creating its own little <laughs> its own little bottom piece. And that is going to be the bottom of the bottle. And it looks a lot better to me. I should have made it a bit darker, but it is what it is. Next, we have this word, this phrase, in your heart. I felt it was appropriate because it's hearts. And I mean, I'm trying to find a, a backing for it. But for me, this, it spoke to me by saying, you know, you, you hold many things in your heart. You have many things in and around it. And what do you have in your heart? What do you think about? What do you... How do you really feel about things? You know, most of us, we think and we feel certain ways, but we don't express it. We don't allow it to be expressed to others because, you know, either for diplomacy or to protect ourselves, to protect others, both at the same time. So what's in your heart? Is it all good stuff? Is it mostly good stuff? Is it mostly resentment, you know, hatred, dishonesty? What is it? Hatred towards yourself, towards others, unforgiveness. What do we have in our hearts? You know, it's a good thing to reflect on and, you know, really pray about it and ask God to change our hearts, change us from the inside so that we could be more like him and he will be pleased with us. So I'm sticking that there. And yes, I'm using the same background for all. So now I'm going through each, giving you a nice little kind of slowish, moish <laughs> view, close up, I hope, of each card. I love these cards. See, the bottom could have been a bit darker, but it's cool. It's cool. Thank you, as always, for watching. You have been wonderful, as always. I am looking forward to your comments so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.